In this tutorial in CyberLink PowerDirector, we're going to show you how to add a light ray effect between two clips. I want a transition and I want it to look like light rays. This is inspired by watching episodes of the American television program called Fixer Upper, where when they make their reveal, they show the difference between the building in the interior and exterior and when they show the difference between those two clips, they use a light ray effect. Let's see if we can do that in CyberLink PowerDirector. So what I have is not two separate, separate clips that are before and after. I actually have two clips of the same building taken about the same time. And on the one, I marked it after so we know that it is. The other is just a similar short clip of before. So what if we'd like to add a light ray transition? between these two clips. How could we do it in PowerDirector? Well, obviously we want to go to our transition room. That's the lightning bolt over the film. Or you can press the F8 key to get there. Now when I look at the options, even when I have the All Content selected at the top, I discover I don't have anything that looks like light rays. So initially it seems like there's nothing I can do. But in many copies of PowerDirector, if you drag down near the bottom, you have an add-on program called Vitascene Transition, this one here with the V. It looks like it's a single transition. And in, in fact, if I take and I hold the left mouse button, I'll drag it between the two clips. Then we'll go ahead and play. And what we see is that we have a white circle going from one to the other. Now that's not the one I want, but Vitascene is not a single transition. It's a family of transitions. Now let me show you how to get into it. So I'm going to click on the transition, the V between the two, and click on Modify. Use the Modify button above the timeline. And that tells me, first of all, I see the transition that I just saw live. I have a duration. And then I have this box that says Vitacene Standalone Effect. Uh, I'm going to use the cross method right now, but I click on Standalone Effect that will actually open up this add on program that has many different transitions in it. If I drag down, I see that I have a transition group. I also have a filter group, but right now we're working in the transition mode. So in my transition group, I have all kinds of options here. And one of the things that I'd like to do, I'll click on the down arrow again, we're going to use a light ray wipe. Now I can click on this file folder, or I could click back on one of these. I find this an easier way to navigate. So I'll click here, and I discover that I have four preset transitions, each of which I can modify. So let's take this first one here, double click on it. And now I have in my preview screen uh, the clip behind here. Let's go ahead and just play this. And there is my light ray wipe. Nice feature. Now, there's some things I can do to modify it. I'm going to give myself some more room in this editor. I can change the length of the light. Here I made it a little bit shorter. You can see on the previous screen. I can change the scan mode and I have eight options here. I can change the method of the light and I have eight more options here that I can use. I can do some coloring here. I could do a tint color and here it's 95.6%. Uh, I can also do a highlight color. I can also do a horizontal and vertical change. And here it comes from the bottom. If I move this slider on vertical, it's going to change the source of the light. So if I play it now, it lights up from over here on the left side a little bit. Let's change the horizontal. And let's do vertical again. Now it's coming from right where the house is. We're not going to take the time in this tutorial to show you all the variations. You can change the glow intensity, the scene intensity. 
So these are just some of the ways in which you can modify the presets in this category in order to make it look exactly the way you want to. So I invite you to experiment and see what you can do there. When you're done, you simply click on the X in the upper right corner and then click on Yes. And now I have my modified transition. So I'm going to close that now and we'll move back to a larger screen. We'll go ahead and go back a few frames here, click on Movie, and we'll play it. And now we have a light ray transition between one scene and the other. We can change the duration, we can keep experimenting with the variations, but it's an interesting way to take this kind of project and do it in CyberLink PowerDirector.